Is that Chris? Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy Jay here, man. I'm back with another video, y'all. And today, man, we got a crazy in a very sad video to talk about man it seems like in today's classroom y'all we got jacksonville florida rapper young and ace on the roster man and it seems like young and ace has finally spoken out since the passing of his close friend jd youngin now before we get into this crazy video man y'all know my routine man just hit that like button and smash that notification bell so you know i can keep y'all updated on this situation and y'all can be notified anytime i drop a video in general bro y'all got me all right now, as I just said, y'all, um, we got a, a a crazy video to talk about, y'all. We got um one of Jetty Youngin's like closest homies, man, Youngin Ace on the roster, and he finally spoke out since the passing of you know Jetty Youngin. Now, if y'all don't know, Jetty Youngin and Youngin Ace was real close, like to the point that were like they were signed to the same label. They were like around, came up around the same time, you know. They were like real close. Like his mom knew his mom. I remember seeing them on IG Live, and they were real locked in at one point in time. But um, Jetty Youngin had went to jail, and it seemed like they just distance they self, you know, due to like different family situations. But seems like um Young and Ace has spoken out about the situation and they got social media feeling crazy. Now Young and Ace pretty much put up this picture or this video, excuse me. I can't put the audio in because it's copyright, but it's just pictures of him and JD Young and he put up a post and said, Dang, I wasn't even gonna come post, brother, cause it it's been eating me in the inside because we wasn't seeing eye to eye about some ish we could have rekindled. I wanted to call you so bad, brother. It was just our pride in the way, dog. We was better than that ish we was going through. Ish was so little. Dang, little brother. I hate even going through this ish again and again. All my love go out to your family. You know I love them. Like they minds. They always treated me like family. I always been in your corner. I always wanted you to win, brother, no matter what it was. I wish I could call you, brother. I'll trade all these memories in just to make one more new one with you. At JD Younger. I'm lost, hurt, broken twin. I love you forever. Now, as I said, man, um, if y'all don't know, these dudes really had a like, good relationship behind closed doors. And, you know, Ace, it's crazy, man, because as y'all just seen, man, he said they weren't even seeing eye to eye at the time. But the only thing that kept them from talking was pride. Now, if y'all don't know, Ace, it seems like, you know, Ace been going through pain his whole life. He lost, you know, two his blood brother and two of his best friends. Then, you know, King Von passed away. It's just like I can understand how tough this get for him. Man. He said he lost his uncle when he was younger, bro. But this is just a very sad situation, man. This is a prime example, man. And this should be a lesson to y'all, bro. To, bro, them little arguments don't be mattering. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, that man literally said he wanted to call him so bad. And it's crazy because I know he got to deal with that for the rest of his life. Now, obviously, he's not responsible for it. But he going to deal with the fact that he couldn't even tell that man that he loved him one last time or that, you know, he couldn't even have a real conversation with bro. He couldn't even um, um, talk to dude. They were having a little, not no beef, but they were not, they weren't seeing eye to eye with something so small. And now he's not even able to fix that man. And that man passed away. So as far as he know, them boys, JD Younger passed away. Um, I don't want to say into it, but he passed away not seeing eye to eye with Ace. And now Ace got a little death for the rest of his life. And I know that's eating him up in the inside, man. So for everybody watching this, man, if you if you going through it with somebody, man, if um fix their relationship, bro. Cause like I said, I always tell y'all, bro, thank God for another day, bro. Because life is not, bro. Life, but tomorrow is not promised, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro. Life is it, you. You gotta cherish it while it's here, man. It's short. Live it up, man. Cherish it, bro. Cause at the snap of a finger, it could be gone. You feel what I'm saying? And I also hope that you know this wake him up, man, and let him know that he gotta move different in. You know, uh, we all know, you know, what type of music he make and all that, this and all that, bro, that he stopped that too, bro, because God forbid he keep doing what he doing. This could possibly be him in that situation or, uh, you know, a, a long sentence. Like, I'm telling y'all, bro, this life is real. Like, these rappers aren't exempt from this stuff. And as y'all see, bro, y'all see this man saying that, you know, he wasn't saying out of our dude over some small, over pride. That's stuff that people go through on a regular basis. So, like, a lot of people look at rappers and idolize them, bro. But literally, y'all, they go through the same thing we go through. You see rappers passing away. You see rappers going through depression. Y'all starting to see this, bro. These people are human just like us. So, I'm saying that to say, bro. Like, man, y'all get it straight, man. Um, To all the rappers, if you watch this video, bro, y'all do, do what y'all got to do, man. Be safe out here, bro. Stop the ignorance, bro. Take care of your family. You know what I'm saying? Because I know for a fact, bro, this is Eam dude up inside, man. And 
like I said last time, man, I feel so bad for that man, J.D. Younger's son, bro. Like, I hate that he got to grow up without his father, bro, especially knowing that he would have been nine times out of ten, took well care of, bro. It just, it's a very sad situation, man. But, you know, like I said yesterday, condolences to J.D. Younger family. You know, prayers for Ace, man. Prayers for, you know, his baby mama that's into it, bro. Prayers for his son more than anything, man. Like, this is just a very sad situation, man. But y'all give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this in the comment section. And let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, y'all put in the comment section, rest in peace, 2-3, man. It's crazy, man. And y'all, bro, I'm out, man.